Hello everyone and salam alaikum. So this video is regarding the hijab and not just the physical aspect. We know that the hijab is meant to be worn by all girls. It's wajib. It is mandatory upon us to cover everything but the hands up to the wrists and our face up to the chin. Okay, so no neck, no ears, no back, chest, arms, feet. Depending on your marijat, you might be able to show your feet. But this is the general rule. Uh, obviously, no tight clothes that show your your body figure, uh, no smells that are extremely attractive to others in public, um, nothing too flashy, right? So this is the general hijab. Also, your voice, the way you speak to people, it's just a form of modesty and self-respect, right? You want to um, maintain that as much as possible. And this also applies to male. As we know, it's in the same verse in the Quran or the following verse. Um, so you don't have to wear a headscarf as a male, but all the rest of it basically apply. Um, you don't want to be attracting the opposite gender, right? Who are non-mahram to you. Now, that being said, if you're struggling with the hijab, I need you to just think about something and ponder. When you are in the bathroom, taking a shower or whatever, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is still there, right? He is everywhere, all the times. He surpasses time and, 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 and space. He's the first before everything and the last after everything. He is everywhere. And when you understand that, I want you to think about why it is that you still have to wear the hijab when you are praying alone in your room, when there's no one else there, but you are praying to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, this isn't because this is the only time you're having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with him. No. You are constantly in connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is everywhere. But why is it when you're praying, you have to put the hijab on even when you're alone? There is a spiritual aspect and a spiritual dimension in everything. And this includes the hijab. So I highly recommend that if you are struggling with it, just reconnect to the spiritual aspect of it. It's really hard to connect to the physical sometimes when you are constantly comparing, especially if you're on social media. You see all these influencers, these hijabi fashionistas and all that kind of stuff. And you start thinking, oh, it looks so much better if I'm wearing a turban. It looks so much better if a little bit of my arm is showing and all that stuff. Or if I'm wearing a little bit tighter and brighter clothes and makeup and all. Don't compare it to them. If that's where you're going, I highly encourage you to stop consuming this stuff. Okay, it is getting to your head. I highly recommend that you go back to the basics and think about the spiritual dimension and think about the fact that you are pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now this applies to people who are considering putting it on and those of you who have it on and who are considering taking it off. Um, especially, I hate to say this, actually I don't, but it's just unfortunate if you're in the turban stage because almost every single person I know who have went from full hijab to turban lead to completely taking off the hijab so please before you get there uh go back and make dua to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala genuinely talk to him and ask for the strength to get through it and remember why you're wearing it in the first place it's not just a physical thing it does not always feel empowering to everyone especially if you're living in the west so if you don't feel empowered that's okay doesn't mean there's something wrong with your hijab journey okay so i just want you to keep that in mind and if you're struggling, you're not alone. It's meant to be a struggle. Um, this is what this life is for. And if you're not going to be struggling with the hijab, you're going to be struggling with something else. So um, if you think you're going to take it off and life is going to be great and grand, I promise you it's not. So uh, stick to what you know, basically. Like they say, the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know, even though clearly the hijab is not the devil. Um, so I hope that helps. Um, sometimes I go through it too. Now, if you guys have any topics that you'd like me to cover, um, either girl topics, family topics, even marriage topics that I can cover with my husband, uh, obviously religion related, let me know in the comments. Um, I'm really happy to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're struggling with the hijab, tell me what you're struggling with. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum.